Day 8 of the Niners training camp just wrapped up. And while many people are talking about the quarterback battle, I've already covered that battle in another video. So in this video, I'm going to focus on other positions that really stood out to me today, both on the offensive side of the ball, defensive side of the ball, then conclude this video focusing on special teams. Starting on the offensive side, more specifically the wide receiver position, Brandon Ayuk today continued his extremely strong camp performance. He was targeted a total of six times and came down with five passes. The highlights had to be when targeted by Brock Purdy, he targeted him four times and Brandon Ayuk only dropped one pass. The Niners' other superstar wide receiver, Debo Samuel, also did great things today with his most notable play coming on a touchdown pass from Brock Purdy where he's going one-on-one -on -one with Charvarius Ward and made a fantastic catch in the corner of the end zone. Moving on to another veteran wide receiver who played well today, Juwan Jennings had a couple of catches, but probably his most notable play is when he caught a deep over from Trey Lance. This might have been at Trey Lance's best throw on the day and a really explosive offensive play. Moving on to year two wide receiver who's impressed throughout training camp and continued to impress today was Danny Gray. He made a couple of receptions with his most notable reception probably coming when Brandon Allen targeted him over the middle and he had to make a 20 yard contested catch. Additionally, a rookie wide receiver who stood out today was Ronnie Bell, who was found by Trey Lance that executed a play fake and then picked up a large 25-yard gain. So with those standout wide receivers out of the way, it's time to move on to the tight end position group where we can talk about George Kittle and his great catch. He was thrown to by Brock Purdy on about a 40-yard throw where Dre Greenlaw was all over him in coverage, but Kittle on the 50-50 ball did come up with it. Moving on to the rookie tight ends, I would say Braden Willis had the better day over Cameron Lottu, as Lottu wasn't even targeted, but Willis did have a catch on the day. Speaking about the offensive skill positions, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't mention the running backs, and the player that stood out today for me was Jordan Mason. Once again, Mason runs extremely aggressively in the run game, and today, when working with Darnold, he had four runs and picked up 16 yards total on those runs. And I think Mason is a good back, but we also have backs like TDP emerging on the tep chart and he's going off. And then you have Kalen LeBourne who looks explosive as well as the ever dynamic CMC. Moving off the running back position now and talking about the offensive line position, there were strengths as well as weaknesses today that crept up. So let's go ahead and start out with the positives on the offensive line. Jake Brindle was strong at beating both Eric Armstead and Javon Kinlaw in one-on-ones. Moving on to the weaknesses, Spencer Burford and Colton McKivitz were both beaten today on one-on-ones, but they did look good overall in team drills. Speaking about the offensive line, it brings up the topic of the defensive line and that side of the football. So let's go ahead and move over there. A player that really impressed me was a defensive end the Niners recently picked up in Taco Charlton. He beat Leroy Watson and Elam Manning on one-on-ones, but he also was able to stop a play in the backfield during 11-on-11s. Additionally, Taco looks almost unblockable during one-on-one -on -one drills, so I'm excited to see how he develops with Chris Kacarek as his new defensive line coach. Another player that did well on the defensive line was the other edge, Drake Jackson. And Jackson has been a standout player throughout camp, and today was no different. He also had to tackle for a loss on the day. On the interior of the defensive line, we saw great things from both Javon Hargrave, Javon Kinlaw, and T.Y. McGill. All these guys were dominant in their one-on-one -on -one reps, and I think the best one out of this group has to be Javon Hargrave, the Niners' new addition, but it's interesting to see how well Javon Kinlaw has done throughout this training camp. According to the Niners, this is the healthiest he's ever been, and it does look like that since he's had no major setbacks. An interesting note about the Niners defensive line as well is that the new defensive coordinator, Steve Wilkes, is experimenting, it looks like recently, with a five-man package. And in that package, he had Cleland Farrell in, Javon Hargrave, 
Javon Kinlaw, Eric Armstead, and then Drake Jackson on the other bookend. Moving on to the position that works closely with the defensive line, the linebacker position, a player that impressed me there today was Marcelino McCurry Ball. This guy's been flying all over the field at this training camp, and he continued today. And his best play from the day had to be when he broke up a pass to Jack Coletto in the flat. Moving on to the rookie that stood out today, I have to say it was Jalen Graham. He recorded a couple of tackles near the line of scrimmage and is flying around out there. The Niners know exactly what they're looking for in their linebackers and McCurry Ball and Jalen Graham are evidence of this. Graham, for instance, is a rookie, while Ball they developed last year and now looks like an NFL starter. Backpedaling now into the secondary, AJ Parker is someone who stood out. He lined up at nickelback for most of the day and had a couple of sacks. Embry Thomas is also a corner that did well today, breaking up a pass. Other notable plays came in the cornerback position when Diamondor Lenore broke up a pass intended for Debo Samuel and Deshaun Jamison also broke up a pass. Moving on to the safeties, more specifically, a guy that's going to make it really hard for the Niners to replace him is Tashawn Gibson. Gibson picked off Purdy today for a would-be probably a pick six, and this isn't his first time doing it. It's actually his second time throughout this camp, and Gibson's proven throughout his career to be a ball-hawking safety and should have been a Pro Bowl safety last year. Now with some standout players highlighted both on the offense and defensive side of the ball, it's time to move into the special team side of the ball, more specifically the kickers. Jake Moody today went 3 of 4 and had makes of 33, 43, and 39. His one miss came when he was attempting a 63-yard field goal, and he came up just short. The other kicker, Zane Gonzalez, was perfect today, hitting 3 of 3 from 43, 48, and 54. Ultimately, these are just my opinions and who really stood out today on the Niners training camp, and I'd love to hear your thoughts down below. It would also mean a ton to me if you liked and subscribed. And as always, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day.